uh, Jim Fetzer, your host on The Real Deal, with my very special guest today, Phil and Larry, and we're talking about the World Trade Center, and believe me, out there in the audience, uh, they're offering us a whole new way of looking at what happened on 9-11 uh, in New York City. If you guys are right, you really are offering a completely novel approach to understanding what happened to the Twin Towers. So I'm eager to hear more. Well, we're glad to be here. Thanks for having us on your show, Jim. Sure. Uh, for anybody that's just tuning into this hour, uh, if they could go to the Let's Roll Forums, plural, dot com, and I put a, uh, uh, well, yeah, the forums are, uh, let me see if they're back on. Um, and up at the top in the chat, I did a, I, I sticky the uh, talking points uh, where they can just click on that and they don't have to, so go to the chat at the top and there should be a sticky and, and uh, go to that link and it'll show you some of the pictures that we're going to discuss right now. Mm -hmm. There was this, uh, the Lower Manhattan Council of the Arts allowed a group of, well, <laughs> Israeli art students <laughs> to occupy the, the 90th and the 91st floor for a period of about four years, between 1997 and 2001. Uh, I'm under the impression that it was for free. Is that what you get to, Larry? Yeah, according to according to uh, the publications, they were that it was that was the program to uh, provide free loft space, if you will, to to uh, these art students, you know, because they were they were ostensibly starving artists. Now, you know the 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 the, the big story here, you know, uh, the outer story is when they were there, they they performed a stunt, and they called it the B thing. We don't know why they called it the B thing, but that's what they called it. And it's what they did is they took out a window on the World Trade Center's 91st floor. And they removed the window and they put a balcony on the outside of the World Trade Center, you know, protruding from that open space. And one by one, each, each group, each person in this group, you know, went out on the balcony and had themselves photographed naked by a helicopter that was, you know, that they had hired to, you know, fly in the outside of the World Trade Center to photograph them when they came out the balcony on the 91st floor. Did you say they were naked? Yeah, that, that was the, the whole idea. They, they, they were going to get out there naked on, on the balcony, and they were going to get filmed by the helicopter, you know, one by one, and then the stunt was going to be over. It all happened at sunrise uh, sometime in the March of 2000, is what we were told. What's really interesting about this story... Uh, there's a lot of things that are interesting about this story. Uh, is they provided they they published a private book called Gelatin the Bee Thing, and they there was a limited amount of copies made, and inside this book they have diagrams of well a lot of things, but one of the things that they have a diagram of is the the bee thing, the, the you know with the helicopter, and they have a cutaway of the building. And are you still looking at that picture, Jim? Yeah? You mean the diagram? Oh, yeah, the diagram. Now, what's interesting about this diagram here is it's a, it's a cutaway of the North Tower. And first of all, do you see anything inside this diagram, Jim, that shouldn't be there? I mean, do you see anything unusual about this diagram? Well, let me give this some thought. Um... I'm not sure I see. All, I'm not sure I see all 47 core columns, but maybe I'm not counting them right. Um, That's one. There's a kind of uh, this but box. Yeah. This box-like thing extending from the one side looks a little odd to me. I yeah, presume yeah, the yeah. things on the strings are supposed to be elevators going up and down. There's a missing elevators. Um, okay, and the other thing that's really odd about this picture is that the core columns are shown at all. Yeah, these these art students are supposed to be occupying a finished building. Okay, they would not have ever seen the core columns. They would not know what they look like, nor would they know the configuration of those columns. And yet, in this diagram, they accurately have well, not all of them, but they accurately you know, they show all the columns showing. 
and they show some of the interior columns missing. They show it, it shows it has uh, three banks of uh, elevator bank elevator banks that are missing. Uh, there's a whole lot that, that's missing. The other thing that's missing from this floor is George Slay. Uh, the American Bureau of Shipping was supposed to be occupying this floor. This is the 91st floor? This is the 91st floor. And George Slay, you know, I'm not sure if you remember his story, but George Slay is the person who was sitting at his desk, and he saw, well, at first he heard a plane, and then he saw a plane coming toward the World Trade Center. And in his own words, he said, the first thing I noticed was that the, wing, that the wheels are down. <laughs> and, and, you know, then he noticed that the bottom was white. And this guy's supposed to have seen the plane coming toward him and, and survived, right? Right, right. The plane crashed into the building, and the, the, way, the, the wing of the plane, you know, went right by him. Okay? I mean, yeah. it was coming, you know, basically... Yes. This, this whole yeah, 9-11 I mean, thing is so much bullshit, it's unreal. Absolutely unreal. Yeah. It, they, it really gets sick here. This is, weird. Uh, this is weird, though. This diagram is very strange because it's incomplete, it's partial, it's, it's distorted. Very strange. What do you make of this? Well, go ahead, Larry. Why don't you tell them? Well, uh, yeah, first of all, they, uh, they, they, that's one of many drawings that they published along with it. They, they very accurately draw a great deal of it. But one of the things they don't draw is the American Bureau of Shipping occupying any of that floor, along with the missing columns, along with the missing elevators. And, and they meant to draw a fairly accurate drawing because this was part of their planning stage and how they were going to set their, their little balcony trick up. So what, what is missing is, is the tenants which were supposedly occupying that floor and, and certainly could not have been because of so much evidence that Phil will tell you about in the in the B thing uh, publication, uh, not not only does this drawing uh, nix the, the possibility of there being a tenant on that floor, but they published some photographs uh, which which are very very telling. So, uh, would, and, would, 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 if they aren't there because they weren't there, does this mean Larry Silverstein was systematically emptying the buildings from the time he took possession? Because he only had like six weeks to do it. No, Larry had, Larry had nothing to do with any of this, Jim. The only reason that Larry was brought in, um, you know, my opinion, I think Larry agrees, but uh, the only reason that Larry was brought in is so that they would have a private owner of the World Trade Center and there would be no shared liability with the city. Really? No, share, no shared liability also means no shared insurance money. Okay, so they knew that the, the World Trade Center was coming down. Uh, it, it, the safest... You, know, you mean you te you're telling me the whole the whole city was involved in this? In other words, the the port authority was uh, knew exactly what was going to happen here. They were deliberately emptying out the buildings. They were going to bring it down. The whole thing with Silverstein was just a cover story. He invested 114 million. He got 4.4 billion back, and that all went in his pocket. But that was all just for show. Yeah, well, yeah. elements elements of the port authority certainly would have been involved in this. Uh, as far as the players and, and people that were involved, and we really can't you know name names, but they you know New York Port Authority um, certainly you know is up to their eyeballs in 9/11.